darkness of night, only occasionally relieved by glimpses of nirvana as seen through other people's windows. Wallowing in a morass of self-despair made only more painful by the knowledge that all I am is of my own making. When everything around me, even the kitchen ceiling, has collapsed and crumbled without warning, and I am left standing alive and well, looking up and wondering why and wherefore. At a time like this, which exists maybe only for me, but is nonetheless real, if I can communicate in the telling and the bearing of my soul, anything is gain. Even though the words which I use are pretentious and make you cringe with embarrassment. Let me remind you of the pilgrim who asked for an audience with the Dalai Lama. He was told that he must first spend five years in contemplation. After the five years, he was ushered into the Dalai Lama's presence who said, Well, my son, what do you wish to know? The pilgrim said, I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So the Dalai Lama smiled and said, Well, my son, life is like a beanstalk, isn't it? Some might not 
agree. As jugglers dance, horses prance, clowns bound endlessly. By trunk to tail, the elephant, quite silent, never spoke.
It doesn't 